Hi guys, so I'm just gonna do my eyebrows real quick. Disregard how unproportional they look, that's not part of the reverse. <laughs> Welcome to 2021. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. We made it, people. We made it to 2021. So we have to be grateful for that. And you know, 2021 is going to be a year that we are going to reverse all that happened in the year 2020. And I actually thought, wow, if we are reversing what happened in the year 2020, what would happen if I reversed my makeup? Basically, if I did what Every makeup artist tells you to do, but the opposite. Reverse it. Do the opposite. So basically, today in this video, I'm going to reverse my makeup and see how I'll end up looking. I'm going to contour where I'm supposed to highlight. I'm going to highlight where I'm supposed to contour. I'm going to apply light shades where I'm supposed to apply dark shades of eyeshadow. I'm going to apply dark shades of eyeshadow where I'm supposed to apply light shades of eyeshadow. for that! That is going to be a bomb ass video, believe me. So let's get into this makeup reverse makeup opposite opposite makeup video. Yeah, let's okay, do this. Damn well that we normally highlight our brows afterwards using concealer or basically something that is lighter highlighting. Hey, but we are going to use a contour cream. Yeah, so let's contour these brows <laughs> and see how they look. This is madness. This is crazy. Just hurriedly brush this contour out. I'm just going to take this um eyeshadow primer that is white, just so that you can get a good picture of the eyeshadows, how I'm going to use them. Instead of using a light shade under my brows, I'm going to use the darkest shade under my brows, which is black. Oh, we're gonna do black under our eyebrows. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but hey, we are here to experiment. So I'm taking this E5, yes, the color E5 from this Novena palette, and I'm just going to apply it under my brows. Goodness, this is Why did I do this? Should have gone with brown, but hey. You know, ordinarily under your, in the crease of your eye, which is here, the crease, where there's a crease, a darker you know shade you're... correction in the crease here. A dark shade. So now we're going to apply a light one, the lightest I can find. So I'm going to use this one here. Quickly put on my foundation, which is the Revlon Photo Candid Ready Foundation in the shade 530, which is Pecan. And I'm going to quickly put it on. Time to highlight or to basically conceal and highlight. Where's our highlighter? Yes. I'm going to use this Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. Yep, in the shade medium. Now, ordinarily, we normally contour here. You know, make it dark. And we also make um, this a contour. And this a contour. And this a highlight. And this a highlight. And this a highlight. And this a contour. Okay, let's just do the opposite. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight here. With this concealer oh my goodness do not try this so we've highlighted next we're going to contour also now let me just rub in this this highlight first so 
we're going to use this contour from NYX and we are going to ordinarily we'd highlight here but we are going to contour the center of our nose instead and we are going to contour here oh it's broken here and here and under our eyes oh this is so sad to do dab in so let's just set our concealer with this brightening powder oh my goodness to a shade here so let's just um brighten the shade out of this so i'm just going to remove the rest of this oh my so let me just try and add some highlighter on so painful <laughs> Let me try and add some highlighter down here, like master chrome highlighter. Oh my goodness. Ooh, look at the highlights. <laughs> okay, I think we are done. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do brands or people from the Far East as we call them here in Africa. Far, far, far East what they do. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply instead of the ombre effect. For those of you who are familiar with the ombre effect, which most of us Africans are always doing, I'm going to reverse that ombre effect, which means I'm going to apply the darker shade in the middle of my lips. And the lighter shade outside. So let's get ready for this madness. Is madness. So for the lighter shade, I'm going to use this Rasputin Me Infallible Lip Gloss by L'Oreal. And I'm going to apply it outside. Shade outside. We are going to go in with this Revlon vinyl lip polish in the shade so shady and we're going to apply it at the center it's horrible i look like i bleached my skin and i got burnt in the sun using mercury wow so let's just put on a wig and see whether we look a bit sane, a bit normal. Oh, my goodness. Is this a person? Important parts of makeup. So I'm just going to take this eyeliner from Maybelline and I'm going to apply it right here. But I'm going to make the face down. Like there. Can you see? facing down let's take the wig make this happen what do you guys think this is mad this is madness <laughs> I actually look like I got burnt from bleaching myself. So thank you so much guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video and don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. Love ya.